Did you know that simple text-based designs just like this are making sellers just like you $2,000 per month, $4,000 per month, or even $13,000 per month in revenue? I use the Everbe Analytics tool to analyze the top 200 t-shirts and sweatshirts that were listed in the last 12 months, and I found that half of them were just these simple text-based designs that you could be making in minutes. I've broken down the top text-based design styles that I found into five distinct categories. And today you'll walk away with actionable exact advice of what types of designs are absolutely killing it on Etsy right now and different types of fonts that you can use to make these designs yourself. This first design here sold 1,257 times in just 10 months. Now, all of the designs you'll see in this video are recreations of the bestseller. So this one in particular is a text to the left, distressed font where every line is a different color. Those are the first three most important things that you need to replicate in this design to make your own versions of this amazing bestseller, especially these kind of retro colors when you're doing the every other line being a different color are super popular, but I've seen plenty of bestsellers in this style that all the text is white or all the text is black as well. This design has sold 1,391 times in only 10 months. This design is very similar to the first one, but notice a few key differences. This one is aligned to the center instead of to the left, and instead of it being a longer phrase, it's one word repeated over and over again. We still have the same elements of every line being a different color, but this seller chose to do a little bit different of a color palette. This simple text-based design sold 1,777 times in only 11 months, and this again is just super simple. The one that I recreated was just black distressed font on a gray shirt, just like this. Now you'll notice that most of the text is large, but then they put something kind of funny at the bottom in the same font, but a little bit smaller for emphasis. And so you can kind of recreate this however it makes sense for your niche. All of the text could be the same size, but I just want to point out some of these small nuances so you know how to include that in your own listings. Now I created all of these designs using a software called Canva. Canva is a super user-friendly software to create t-shirt designs or designs for any other print-on-demand item that you might be looking at. And I do have a 30-day free trial for their pro plan down in the description if you click my link if you haven't tried Canva out yet but Canva doesn't always have an exact font or an exact graphic that I'm looking for. And that's when I turn to creativefabrica.com where I found this Edmund texture font that I've shown you in the last three designs. And Creative Fabrica is an awesome website where you get access to millions of different designs and fonts that you can use in your print-on-demand business. So this is absolutely something that I use for my own business every single day. So throughout this tutorial, you'll see some fonts that are from Canva and then you'll see some that are here on Creative Fabrica. And just like Canva, I do have a link for you down in the description where you can get 10 free downloads just for using my link to decide if you want to use this software for yourself. This next listing is an absolute powerhouse, selling 4,384 items in the last 11 months alone. And notice how absolutely very simple this design is. When you're doing your research on best-selling designs, it's important to pay attention to the details. Like the established 2023 at the bottom of this design is spaced really far apart from each other. The letters aren't right next to each other like they naturally are when you type them. I had to actually space them out that way. So make sure to pay attention to these little details to get these designs just right when you're using them in your own store. This next design is super similar but has a few key differences. And this one is sold 1,519 times in only five months. I wanted to show both of of these designs because these are both massive best sellers, even though they're in different niches. So it's a great example of you can kind of implement the same design style, but into a different niche. This next design is sold 1,535 times in nine months. Now this one is a custom sleeve print design. And they just put a simple text across the front, simple text on the sleeve, and that's it. You really don't have to overcomplicate your designs. I promise 
notice usually the simple stuff sells best. This design has sold 1,608 times in only five months. This one I did pull the exact same colors that that bestseller did use in their design. So notice the real key here is that every letter is a different color. And then you have a cursive text over top of a tall blockier font. That is the pieces you need to make sure that you're hitting and making designs like these. This next one is very similar, but it does have its differences. And this one sold two 2,073 times in its first 11 months. And again, I did use the exact same colors that the bestseller was using. So you can see, again, hopefully you're picking up on trends that a lot of the colors that the bestsellers are using in their designs are these more muted colors, not super bright. They're kind of more muted and light colors. So make sure that you're doing your own research and paying attention to these little bits and pieces as you make your own designs. This next design has sold 1,760 times in the last nine months. And this is another text over text design with one small difference. You'll notice the little heart in between the word custom and the word text. This is called a font glyph. And I'll show you how to actually use these so that you can implement these in your designs if you like. So coming over to Creative Fabrica, if you wanted to use that exact same font that I showed you, this one's called Arthur Tanaya font. So to be able to get those font glyphs, all you need to do is download this font and then you'll need to upload it into two different spots. The first spot you'll need to come to is the tools and go to font cloud. Then you need to upload that font. You can come right down here on the left and click browse, open the font and choose the .otf file and click upload. Once you open that font, you'll be able to come into that font and see all of the different pretty glyphs that they call them, which is the little hearts that you can add at the beginning, the end of letters, or add into the middle. The next place that you need to download that font is right into Canva or the design software that you're using. So for me, I'll just click on the text that I'm working on and then come to the beginning and you'll see upload a font. So here you'll do the same process and open that .otf file that you uploaded to Creative Fabrica. Once you have the font saved in both places, it's super simple. You'll just come to the font cloud and click the letter that you want to copy and paste. Then you'll come back over to Canva and you'll just delete the letter that you were working on and paste the one that has the little heart glyph. Now our next category is curved college fonts. This first listing has made a massive 5,451 sales in only seven months. And if you're not familiar with how to make outlined fonts on Canva, it's super simple. Just click the text that you want to make outlined, come up to effects and click hollow. And now here you can decide how thick you want the text for the effect that you're looking for. And just that simple, you've got an outlined font out of any font that you'd like. Our next design you'll notice is super similar. This one has sold 5,782 times in only eight months. And the only difference is that it was not an outline text. It was just the solid text. So I really think you can go either way. This one also didn't have that secondary text underneath. It was just one word. And then moving on to our last category, and this is actually the one that I saw most predominantly across all of the top selling listings on Etsy that I looked at. And so if you're not making designs that look like these, today is the time to get started because this has been popular for a year or two now, but it is just not stopping. And that is retro wavy font. This first one has sold 1,930 times in only eight months. And I know there are some graphics on this one, but I wanted to show all of the different types of ways that I've seen bestsellers implementing this design style. So in this case, it was a pocket design on the front and then a retro wavy design with checkerboard on top and bottom on the back. And if you don't know how to make these retro wavy fonts, don't worry, I'll show you how to at the end of this category. This next one is sold 2,063 times in only 11 months. Now again, notice that this is just white retro wavy font 
on a gray shirt. I tried to replicate what the seller that has the best seller did as closely as I can. And I hope you really see how super simple so many of these designs really are because you do not have to complicate it. Our next design is sold 2,069 times in seven months alone. And this is very similar to the last one with the exception of we're using only two colors and every other letter is a different color. This design has sold 2,107 times in only 10 months. And the biggest difference here is it is a two lines of text, one solid and one outlined. And then our last design has sold 2,107 times in only 10 months as well. And you'll see that this one is very similar to the other one where you have some outlined fonts and then one blocky font in the middle. It really helps to emphasize it. So the real key with this type of design is it's really the same two words or one long word over and over again, not like a whole sentence. So that's why I have it saying the same thing every single line. Now let's quickly show you how to make the retro wavy fonts if you're not sure how, because you can't make those just in Canva. We need another free software called PhotoP or Photopea, whatever you wanna call it. So I'll show you how to use that super quick and easy. I promise it's not complicated. So you'll make your design say, um, you know, we'll just use the same example, custom text, and I'm going to just duplicate this a few times. You wanna leave enough space in between the text that when it curves, the letters don't run into each other. And so you can leave it all the same blockiness, or you could do like that example did and change the effects and hollow them out. So then you'll save this design as a transparent PNG. Then you'll come over to photop.com. This is kind of like a free Photoshop. So you don't even need to make an account, which is awesome. So click open from computer and select that file that you just made. Once you have the design open, you'll come up to edit, You'll scroll down to transform and then you want to select warp. You'll come up to this little style box here where it says none. You'll come down to this wave button and then all you have to do is edit how much of a wave that you want by coming up to this bend and you'll see it's set at 50% right now. My favorite bend is 24%. And just like that, you've made the super popular retro wavy font design for your own store. I hope that you learned a ton in this tutorial, but if you took away nothing else, I hope you learned that you might be overthinking or over-designing some of your designs. Simple really does sell, and I hope that you take away some of these fonts and these layouts to try out in your own store. But again, this is only going to be profitable for you if you deploy these design styles into niches that don't already have things that look like them. If you just make designs that look almost identical identical but a tiny bit different than every other design in your niche, then you won't stand out and get them to stop scrolling and click your listing instead. And if you're watching this and you haven't even started your print on demand business yet, then I do have a link for you down in the description to take my free mini course that walks you through setting up your Etsy account, your Printify account, connecting them and making and posting your very first design. And if you made it this far in the video, please take a moment to put your favorite movie down in the description below. I'd love to hear what types of movies you're all watching right now or what your classic favorites are. And I'll add a video for you to watch next at the end of this video on how I was able to make my brand new Etsy store profitable within my very first 60 days. I think you'll learn a lot of really valuable lessons from this video. I hope you love it and thank you so much for watching all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.